Well, hello everyone and welcome to another eBootCamp tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about TweetDeck. Yes, um, those of you who are using Twitter, I'm sure most of you out there are. Uh, it's always good to start out with using Twitter.com as your uh, original source of kind of getting to know Twitter and how to use it and such. But over time, you'll kind of notice some cumbersome things with Twitter that um, can get frustrating after a while, especially if you're using it quite a bit. And so some applications were built to make your life easier when, when working with Twitter, and one of them is TweetDeck. And so today, what I'm going to do as uh, quickly as possible is kind of show you how I use TweetDeck and how it makes my life a lot easier um, when, when working with it uh, versus using the Twitter.com application. So the first step is to simply download Twitter uh, TweetDeck to your computer. So you don't won't be going to the website TweetDeck each time. Once it's downloaded, it'll actually be an application that you can um, click on from your desktop. Okay, so um, so you'll download it right there. I, I've already got it downloaded. And once you go through that process, of course, it's free. And then we'll go into TweetDeck. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And here is TweetDeck. Uh, what's basically currently going on? And I know um, at first glance it might look like a ADD person's uh, dream, but um, it actually is quite quite easy to use once you start to get comfortable with it and such. So uh, let's talk about a couple of these screens. First of all, on the left-hand panel here, this is simply the people who I am following and what is live being said uh, right now. So uh, you know, and mo as you'll see, this will continue to update uh, whatever people are saying and it'll continue to stream down and so I can glance over here I can use this drop down to kind of just what uh, see what people who are I am following are saying right now and that's simply that so that's exact it's really the only thing that you see if you're on Twitter uh, but there's so much more to see just on this screen obviously the next page are, the, are, are my mentions everyone who's basically mentioning me or interacting with me um, or saying something to me or, or about me and so I can keep an eye on that so that I can thank people for uh, being kind and uh, saying something nice about me or my book or something like that or uh, if they're asking me a question or if they're saying something that's not so nice maybe I can at least see what's happening so I can engage that person uh, and then the next part is a bunch of different um, keywords that I'm searching so again just for brand recognition sake I'm searching Corey Perlman uh, my bookie boot camp all one word and then spaced out so on and so forth and so I can just monitor all this at one time now I don't these keywords can go beyond just my name I can search any type of keyword and keep an eye on what's going what's going on and simply by doing that I can go up to this tool right here hit Twitter search that'll open up a box I can search you know my state maybe my favorite team if I want to know what's going on with that uh, just as an example I'll go ahead and put uh, uh, let's see I'm, I'm in Detroit so we'll go ahead and put Detroit Tigers uh, just as an example go ahead and hit enter and then it'll open up a new column for me the very end here right over here in the far right and everything that's being talked about with the words Detroit Tigers will show up here and this is a great way for me to engage with people that I may or may not be following and when I do that most likely will become um, friends by them following me and, and me following them uh, so this is just a great way to engage on information that I am interested in by using the search feature. Another really cool thing about TweetDeck is um, in Twitter, re the Twitter world retweeting something somebody says is very important. That simply means restating the message that somebody that you're following says and you're basically saying this is important enough for me to uh, give you credit for something you said and also share it with the people who are following me and you see those a lot and it's used with the RT colon and then the message and in Twitter you have to highlight the message put it in the tweet box and it's very cumbersome to do quite a bit on TweetDeck I can see a message right here and I can it'll say would you like to retweet this message I can click a button and it shows up with everything there in the um, in the message box right here and all I have to do is hit enter and it would tweet that away now I'm not going to um, retweet that message as an example but that's something that you can really easily do another neat thing you can do in TweetDeck is you can have multiple accounts I have two accounts one for my name Corey Perlman and one for eBootCamp so if I want to send a message to everyone I can type the message in and I can click my two accounts and if I want to send it to my Facebook page as well I can click that as well 
hit that and it'll go to all of those so as long as I have this thing registered with those accounts in one click of a button it will blast out to all of those another neat feature is a lot of times everybody knows you only get 140 characters on Twitter so every character is important so if you have a long URL link that you want to include in your message let's just say it's really really long you can put it down here and you can shorten it by hitting this button right here I hit that button and boom in a moment's notice it will shorten that link into from what was probably a hundred characters down to about 10 or 15 and that's very 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 useful so so that's really really neat and um, and in, in again if you were using Twitter you'd have to go to another website put in that URL come back very very tedious and much more of a difficult process than if you're on TweetDeck here so that's another really neat option I use quite a bit and once again if you highlight over somebody's profile you can retweet their message you can reply to it if you want to send them a direct private message you can do it just by clicking a button boom and then type the message there and it'll go directly to them uh, just makes life very very easy on Twitter uh, so just to review uh, this one this this uh, tutorial is gone a little longer than I normally like to go but there's so many neat things you can do on TweetDeck and then we only just scrape the surface but you can also by the way before I end here you can put um, images you can upload a photo so it'll show up as a link but when you click on it the photo will actually show up right in, in your screen right here but if you want to post an image you know of any kind you can click that button and really quickly it'll take you through the process of uploading a photo um, which is just really really neat and, and quick and easy to do so so anyway TweetDeck's a fantastic tool to use to enhance your Twitter experience and uh, I'd highly suggest just using it getting comfortable use it and, and most importantly use that search feature and play around with that and, and put in different keywords of topics that you are interested in both both from a personal and business perspective because the sky's the limit when you start using that I use that thing uh, a ton and it's fantastic so with that I will end this uh, enjoy TweetDeck and we'll see you on the next eBoot Camp tutorial thanks take care